Hi, I'm George Benson, and I'm here with my private student and friend, Peter Farrell. Peter has followed me around the world, by car, by boat, by plane, by motorcycle. I looked out the back of the bus we were traveling in, and it was a guy in the rain riding a motorbike. I said, what? <laughs> Who's that riding behind the bus? So I asked one of your fans, I said, well, invite him in on, on, you know, into the bus and let's, let's have a conversation. I found out he was like me. He was in love with the guitar. And I said, man, I can't blame a man for that. I said, hey, man, any way I can help you. And I found out he had great technique. He was on the right track. He just needed some experience and some nodding here and there, some nudging, I should say. But he had all of the elements that it takes to be a great player. Plus that one great thing that all teachers need, patience. Everything takes time. And once you start with that idea that it won't happen overnight, but it can happen, you keep piling information on top of information, taking in what you can, and make sure that there's something that you agree with. And if you don't agree with it, find out why. What makes it sound good from this person and not from me? We went through all of those things together. Peter had his camera out and used to take pictures of my fingers. And I said, don't do that, man. No. <laughs> I said, no, I don't want nobody taking pictures of my fingers. Because first of all, I wasn't confident in what I was doing. I was just playing, you know. But that's what it is. This is what we do. We, we play the guitar, a wonderful instrument. And we want to take in all the information we can to give us the, the uh, tools, that we're going to need when we get out in front of the people. There's nothing that Peter could put down on a piece of paper that I would deny because I know basically where his thinking is. And every time he shows me something, I see myself in that. I didn't know it was really me because I don't, I'm not a great reader or anything like that. I'm not a great theorist. But when I hear it, I know it. When I see it written out on a piece of paper, it looks strange. And I say, play that for me, Peter. And he plays it for me. I said, yeah, that's it. That's the idea. That's what I want them to get. When I say them, I'm talking about you. You could be whatever you want to be. You could be the next this, that, or the other. In any music medium, that's making a difference. Appreciate the music. Take in all the information you can. Have fun playing it. You will when you have this kind of information that we are offering in these books. The George Benson Method makes it fun and easy. If we had not put these books out, all that wonderful information that I've gathered over the many years I've been on the road would have been lost. But look what a player it has made out of him. I'm very proud of Peter, what he can do on the guitar. He's one of my greater friends and one of my favorite guitar players. The great advantage of this information that we put down in these George Benson Method books, and Peter has painstakingly paid great attention to detail, to my technique, my ideas, which I expressed to him in the many meetings that we've had. It is very important that we pass this on to the next generation. But it took someone with his prowess and his love for music to go through the painstaking process of making it easy for you to understand. And if you know Peter, have ever heard him play, you know he's no slouch on the guitar. He did a great favor for human history by putting it all down. Unmistakably, the George Benson method. I appreciate that about Peter. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, George.